All right, time for some more fun with Setzer and Ace. And, oh, looks like Beatrix is going first. <clears throat> it's a rather unusual turn order, but we'll take it. There's that defense ignore on the follow-up coming through. So, like most of my Setzer runs, Setzer is going to leave on his first turn. We'll pull in the friend unit and go right into the burst. Cloud of Darkness, one of our newest burst plus units. Now I think, um, yep, follow up with the LD. Not a lot of damage yet. And so we'll bring in the Ignis call. Ran this earlier with Karasame instead of Ignis and ended up not making the HP requirement due to some bad luck. Um, oh, yep, Brave Attack with Ace. Um, I didn't want to go into Ace's burst quite yet. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go on Ace's burst. And I think the reason for that is I just wanted to give them a turn. Because A is going to do an all Brave and HP attack on everyone. And if A does that before um, 79%, then we should all be able to live it even if somebody doesn't dodge it. But Cloud Darkness did, so that's fine. Yeah, see, that's that's much better damage now that the Ignis Call is out. Anyways. Good stuff. Um, yeah, so we wanted to give them a turn so that A would use the all Brave and HP attack, so that I wouldn't have to worry about A hitting me with it later. And, oh man, A sitting for ones in the burst. <laughs> so painful. Um, but at least Cloud of Darkness, friend, is making up for that lack of damage. So that's good. Yeah, I guess, I mean, if I didn't have Cloud of Darkness, um, I would just... Ace would be hitting harder due to somebody else's burst effect, I suppose. Um, with Ace, I used Burst before... I used the Burst before the Great Spiral. Or the second Great Spiral, since you get a free one from the LB. Oh god, that's so sad to watch. <laughs> Those ones. Um, so that, that way, when Ace used the Great Spiral, it was a Great Spiral Plus. And so just getting as much damage as I can with Cloud of Darkness. Who are those ones? Can't wait to get Setzer back in here for those rainbows. Even with two bursts. <laughs> Although, technically, Aces has to charge up a bit, I suppose. Um, burst there, it, because I don't want to run out of great spirals um, when, while Ace has randos, or fixed dice. There we go, that's much better. Yeah, we're gonna clean hazard. So let's see, they're already down to 60 and thankfully they both came out of break there, so we got to take that orb up a bit. With Ace, you're pretty much always going to use Great Spiral Plus over Burst. Pretty much always. And so I wanted to make sure I had as many available as I could when Setzer had used Fixed Dice on Ace. I also want to make sure that when Ace's burst effect runs out, Setzer has a has recently used fixed dice on Ace, so that the final we were here attack does a lot more damage. Brave attack with Ace in the launch because Ace will get those follow-ups. And I pretty much never use Ace's EX. Like I don't even know I have it even equipped, to be honest. Ace is at 0 out of 3 ingots on his EX because I can, <laughs> I guess. Um, and so, yeah, ingot, uh, the EX ingots just don't do much for Ace. They don't do nothing, but they don't do much. Especially because his other skills are so good. Um, I'm sure that'll all change in the C90 era. And so, let's see, by the time B attacks, I want to have Beatrix's Holy Knight's guard up. 
whatever it's called. Oh, she gets knocked back. Yeah, they're gonna do a lot of knocking back in this one, a lot of delaying. Particularly Lace, for some reason. Sets her EX2 battery everyone, since I don't need to push anyone back anymore. There it is, Holy Knight's Safeguard. And anytime that the plants at this point do an all attack, Holy Knight's Safeguard is going to need to be up. <laughs> or we will die. Well, Ace will die. Maybe Beatrix too. And we'll use the free Great Spiral Plus. No double turns there. Just gotta watch out for that ward. Luckily, they're doing a good amount of Brave attacks. Towards the end, though, they're just gonna do a bunch of Brave HP attacks. And so we have to be careful about that orb. And there goes Ace. Getting knocked way back, which kind of sucks because I can't refresh his card follow-up debuff. Uh, we're gonna delay A a bit. Because again, I need to make sure Holy Knight's Safeguard is up on Beatrix. And Ace goes flying backwards again. So, I should be able to do it. You can use Beatrix's EX here. Delay A one more time. And then survive the barrage of brave HP attacks that are coming in. I have RCL a call just in case because they technically cleanse non-framed buffs. Oh, sets are jumped up. They technically cleanse, cleanse non-framed debuffs when they use their brave, uh, their all attack. However, if their HP silenced, they won't cleanse anything. So our Ciela call is kind of a just in case. Let's drop a call there because one of the, we need to take advantage of the fact that he could get a break. And we need to keep those orbs up. And luckily, the Brave HP attacks leave them at zero and Brave. So that helps to tick that orb up. And A is targeting everyone again. Pretty sure they start doing that once they get low enough. Ace will get a free turn here, and I don't want that to happen. Um, because his burst is right about to run out. And so I want Setsu to refresh Fixed Dice before Ace's burst runs out. Hence why I didn't use his HP attack to refresh the follow-up debuff. Yeah, now they're just gonna do a bunch of Braven HP attacks like that all the time. Um, so I think I, that was a pause for a second, but um, refreshing Beatrix's debuff on them. Not only that, but it's nice to use an LD right after Sector has reapplied fixed dice on everyone. Use those launches. And that's a good amount of damage. It's one of the cool things about Ace Burst is you kind of get like, instead of just one giant brave and HP attack, you get two. But that's Ace for you. Lots of damage. So we have to be careful of B now. Um, B is getting really close to running out of his orb. But I have, well obviously I have Strapple Call, and I also have the Summon of Odin to give us a few extra turns if it's needed. There's the Clum Hazard. It has, we do not want, we also don't want B to take a turn before Beatrix gets Holy Knife safe card up. And so now we summon. And we do lots of damage with Ace in the summon. Let's see, no instant turn on the Great Spiral Plus. 
So I think we're just going to waste a couple of ticks of the debuff. Yeah. And we'll reapply Ace's follow up debuff. Because again, we're trying to get uh, as much damage as possible, even if we have to be a little inefficient to do it. And just kind of burst them down. Now the scary thing about this is I'm pretty sure I lost track <laughs> of how many turns they have until they jump in front. So I have to I have to hope that's not going to happen before Beatrix skips her next turn. Right after the summon runs out, and of course Ace jumps in front of Beatrix just to keep me on the edge of my seat. And so at this point, as long as we don't get caught with our well caught off guard, we've basically won this. And fortunately, they did not turn jump, and Beatrix applies a one-night escape guard, but that's okay because they're dead, and that's the run. So uh, feel free to like this if you want me to feel better about myself, or feel free to comment if you have any comments or questions. Thank you for watching.